a lot of work has gone into trying to look inside these complicated models such as BERT and understand what they're doing. One way to break up the understanding of these methods is fairly simple models that view them as input-output boxes, try and explain the world. If you take this tweet and classify it as a positive, which words are causing you to rate this as a positive tweet or a negative tweet, as an angry tweet or a frightened tweet? And many of these methods are ones that look at what we would call feature importance. Each word in the sentence going in is a feature, and then you can use methods, which we won't have time to cover in this course, such as Shapley values, which roughly say how important is this word if I were to remove it, how much does it change the meaning of the sentence, and in what direction. Um, there's a little complication because the subword models, the byte pair encodings, make it a little bit harder to map out feature importance in terms of a byte pair encoding to a word, but people are still working around that. The other sorts of explanations are looking at the model, trying to look at the attention weights for an attentional model, or to look inside a BERT, to probe BERT, and to see what's being computed where. So one thing one can do is remember that BERT takes in a input sentence, the Earth revolves around the Sun, it goes through a whole bunch of layers with a whole bunch of heads, right, roughly a dozen layers, dozen heads, and then it does some sort of prediction where it predicts the missing tokens, the mask tokens. And one can then look in and say, okay, if we were to take any one layer, say layer two, take the outputs of the hidden knowns in layer two and feed them into a simple model, a logistic regression model, how well does it do for part of speech tagging or for dependency parsing or for co-reference or for any problem we might have? And what people then find is that there is, in some sense, a very sloppily, loosely defined hierarchy where some things like part of speech tagging occur closer to the embedding, and some things like co-reference, how does this word, the it, the she, the he, refer to something before, occurs deeper in the network. And you can see that there is some sort of a roughly analogous to a CNN, which has a low-level feature detection of input, and higher level, deeper semantic feature recognizing going on deeper. There's something sort of kind of like that going on in BERT, but it's not as clean as the visual system, which is a little bit more clear about how it goes from very local to much more global. The other thing you can do with BERT, which is super cool, is you can look at what each of the heads are attending to. And so if you go and look for each word, and see for the self-attention on the encoding, what does it pay attention to? You can see that um, there are different things are attended to in different cases. So in this case, you can see the, look at the red lines here, plans to be discussed. One discusses plans. You upgrade what? You upgrade the line or its lines. You see a relation between upgrading its, what are you upgrading? The line. What are you discussing? The plans. Um, what are you plugging? It goes on to plug a few diversified, but plugging the funds. So see that you can see the attachments here of the objects and their verbs being learned by these heads, and these two different heads learn different things. Similarly, looking at the red on the right-hand side, um, and again, we're at levels 8 through 11, in the space fairly deep in, what do we have? The complicated language in the huge new law, the fight. In each case here, each of these words is, it, is being matched up with. It's attending to the words that modify it. The former executive, this time. So again, following the red lines, you can see that they're really attending to something relevant to them, and different heads attend to different relevances. And this provides a nice way to look and see what's going on under the hood. It's a little messy because there's a dozen different heads you have to check, but you can get a flavor of what they're looking for. Um, the blue lines, which 
were too hard for you to remove. You can note that the things like the sep, the end of sentence, attends to all sorts of things, including the CLS and including the periods. So much more general attention for things like separators as opposed to specific words that are modified in different ways. And these attentions are useful for many things, including a topic we'll come to shortly, which is looking at bias.